Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a cooking uh, video vlog and I wanted to make sure you guys kind of get in on our cooking series. So we do welcome you guys to take this opportunity to just to kind of join us as we prepare our Sunday dinner. So but before we get started with that, I want you guys to make sure that you like share and comment on this video and subscribe to this video for us okay so today we actually have some ribs some pork ribs that we will be uh preparing prepping for the oven we're not going to barbecue them on the grill but we're actually going to be slow cooking them in the oven and we're going to be slow cooking it at 475 degrees okay so, first of all, we have already put um, our, um, our dill sauce on it, okay? We have a dill sauce that's actually been sitting on for a little while. So, now, what I'm about to do, um, what I'm about to do is basically I'm trying to look for, okay. What I'm about to do, I'm about to put uh my ground mustard seasoning on them okay put my ground mustard seasoning on them let me try to put it where you guys can actually see it okay and you want to put it pretty much even all the way across and okay okay and shortly I'm gonna I'm going to flip it over so I actually have it on both sides. So, hold on just one second. Let me flip this over. So, I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday, man. How do you guys feel the day after New Year's? The day after New Year's. How about that? Everybody kind of doing their own thing. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle some more uh, the mustard ground season on it. And okay, let's let's make sure we get that on here. Good, 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 good. Okay, and as you guys see, uh, I just basically got you know uh, nothing too expensive. So I use that, uh, and that is the Spice Supreme uh, Pure Ground Mustard, okay? Next, I might actually use, uh, it's just the uh, paprika. You guys see that? Paprika? Pep. That's why I said paprika the first time. Paprika. Look at that, I got my, my son standing up here trying to tell me. It's the paprika. So, okay. I'll put that on there. Okay, okay. And let's flip that over. I'm gonna flip that over. And let's flip both sides of these over. Okay, okay. And let me get that on this side. The reason why I've seasoned it good and heavy, man, I try to um, make sure that we get all our seasons balanced in here so you won't have to add seasons, a lot of seasons on it uh, after you finish your cooking. So next, guys, what I'm going to do, I am going to um, take my onion. I'm going to cut up with some onion, and I'm going to lay my onion um on it as well okay just I'm just cut up some of my onion look now I didn't say I was a chef so don't y'all be judging me by how I cut up my onion do not judge me at all, you hear me? 
<laughs> so I'm gonna cut up a whole onion so we can actually get this in here okay all right now let's get this to the next one here okay guys we're gonna go ahead and lay my onion out over my uh, my ribs okay and basically this helps as you guys know that onion helps bring out the best of the flavor man it helps to bring out the best of the flavor okay okay next guys I'm gonna actually take my butter and I'm going to uh, I'm actually gonna cut up my butter I'm just cut it up in chunks well that way I can lay it in different areas Okay, so go ahead and place my butter in different areas. And as anybody know that does a lot of cooking, um, the butter actually helps to um, tenderize it as well. Uh, so I want to make sure that we get that in there. Really good. Let's get that balanced in there. And you can rub it in, you can actually rub it as well. All those two stuck together. You can rub your uh, ribs, you know, sometimes as well. So, okay guys, what, what we're gonna also do, and you guys will actually see this, we're actually gonna put some spinach leaves on top of this as well. And as this began to cook, the spinach leaves was actually, uh, Marinate with the, you know, cook down in the, uh, with the, along with the meat as well. Okay. So I think we cover it up. Get a lot of these spins off in there. Okay. So we actually got that. Okay, we got that. And we put a little bit more. Okay, okay. Alrighty. And as you guys know, spinach is really, really good for you. So, I mean, you pretty much just about eat it with anything. Just about anything. So, that's going to be good with that. So, and so next, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes in here as well. And so, put my potatoes off in here. And I cut them kind of thin, uh, so they'll actually be pretty much, there you go. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually go ahead and add my water. The water basically keep it hydrated as it's cooking up under that heat and just kind of pour it around the rim of it. And let me see here, let me add a little bit more. And I'm, if you know that, I'm not putting it on top, okay? I'm not actually putting it on top. I'm getting it, I'm pulling it where it can actually uh, float to the bottom. And because I don't want to wash my seasonings off the top. So. And I will not put uh, any foil over the top of it um, due to the fact that I want the heat to kind of escape and cook through um, all the way through it so we'll see we definitely got it going okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead we got our ribs um, uh, prepped and uh, I'm gonna go ahead I got my stove set at 475 so we got the stove set at 475 so we're gonna go ahead and get this put in the oven and we're gonna go ahead and start on the cabbages. 
So you guys stay tuned for the prepping of our Okay cabbage. guys, now we actually have my cabbage. So oh, oh, don't be sitting right up on it. You got my man sitting here just Okay, you gotta give me some space. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the cabbage up. Uh, I'm not sure how you guys cut y'all cabbage up, but I take the knife and I cut. Cut through this thing. Oh, bam! There it is. So that point there. Chop it, chop it. Hey. Okay, guys, next we actually have the cabbage. It's all ready. They're all ready in the pot with the water ready to start simmering. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. Only thing I'm gonna really add, just as simple. It's just as simple as it gets. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Uh, so they give it a little kick to it. I'm thinking that should be enough. And I'm going to add my salt. Okay. okay. And I'm going to add my, my butter. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna add a whole lot. I have a half a stick that's already left. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and, just, as you guys see, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up. I'll be just a second. Go ahead and put that in there. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and. It's gonna be looking busting. Busting. Okay guys, I'm gonna actually put some of my turkey smoked sausage in there. So it'll help with the seasoning as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that and so uh, like I said guys, I think it's gonna be really, really nice once it's all said and done. Uh, and we're gonna let you guys see the finishing touches of it once we have completed this whole entire thing with my knife. Oh, what would you? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my my turkey slices. And so okay, okay. And also I am going to Hi guys, I actually have my bell peppers. Uh, as you guys see, I will be adding my bell peppers as well. Don't worry about the sound, just worry about the picture. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my my bell peppers. Add my bell peppers in there. And also, let me see here. Okay guys, I'm gonna add my onions and I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but I'm also add some uh, slices of apples um, to help with the sweetness of it. So I'll be doing that as well. Okay guys, so now I am pretty much doing the finishing touches on this. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add my apples. I guess you guys are just like, man, this looks like a freaking cabbage soup. It's not a soup, it's basically the same exact way that you would cook, um, you know, your cabbages. It's been basically helping give it a whole lot better kick to it and so forth. And so, that turned up. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and get my top and put that on there. Okay, guys, so we're gonna let that go ahead and be cooking. So, what we're about to do, we're gonna let that simmer. Our cabbages is on. We got our ribs in the oven that's close to being complete. And I will give you guys a peep look at that right quick. So stay tuned. I'm gonna let you guys take a quick peep at the ribs. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, this is a sneak peek, as my daughter said, of the ribs. As you guys can see, they're tender. Uh, and so this is what you actually have to be coming up off the bone here. So we're gonna let that finish cooking a little bit more. Cause see, I want the meat to fall completely off the bone. So we're gonna allow that to continue to uh, marinate just a little bit more in the heat, okay?